think, Zach? What do you get when you take a country music star and his number one fan and mix it with a random act of kindness? One Marshall County family says what you get is a memory that will last a lifetime, all because that country music singer showed them grace and goodness. 7 News anchor Rebecca Little explains. The smile is infectious. The songs he sings are contagious. It makes you want to hum along with him. If you're so fortunate to meet him, you are the lucky one. Dylan Stevie lives life to the fullest. He has a heart the size of Texas. Dylan's mom, Ann, says she always imagined the day her son would walk across the stage to receive his diploma. But Ann says nothing could ever compare to what happened the night country singer Trace Atkins walked onto the stage for a performance at the Capitol Theater. At the end of... Trace's song and Dylan had done his vow that he was doing and Trace says bring him here. The event that unfolded that evening threw Dylan and his mom for a loop. One random act of kindness from Atkins according to Ann has left an everlasting impression on their family. To me it was the most special thing ever. I don't tell the story to anybody without crying. It's just very, very special, and I'm hoping you get to hear me, and you, you know what you've done. I, I just thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. During the concert, the country singer leaned over, took off his Stetson, and plopped it right onto Dylan's head. It just happened so fast, and Trace just leaned forward and dropped that hat on top of Dylan's head, and... The whole audience went nuts and I stood up and I started crying and I was shaking like a leaf and Dylan was in shock and I was amazed. Check this out. Stacks and stacks of CDs, Trace t-shirts, and plenty more paraphernalia. Dylan loves a good cowboy hat and cowboy boots, but having a Trace Atkins original has been life-changing for him. What did you do when Trace Atkins put the hat on your head? You went... Boom! There you go. That's what you did. That's what you it hasn't been easy for this mom and son duo. Dylan lost his dad and her husband when Dylan was just nine years old. And if that isn't devastating enough, Anne's son passed away just two months later that same year. He's been a blessing. And, and all this. That is why, according to Anne, Atkins' simple, kind gesture will always hold a special place in her heart. Heartbroken after losing her husband and Dylan's brother, Anne has had to build back her life. He's a peace lover. He knows they're in heaven. Um, after his dad died, he cried for him for weeks. And then one day, he had a conversation. And um, he come up to me, I was doing dishes, and he tugged on my shirt. And he was nine years old, and he said, Mom, and I said, what? He said, Daddy's in heaven. And I said, yeah, and he said, he'll be okay. Onward and upward, and remains focused on her family. She says Dylan is her beam of sunshine, and without her family's love and support, she wouldn't have been able to mend her broken heart. Dylan's smart, and he's, he's saved me. Dylan saved me. In Marshall County, I'm Rebecca Little, working for you. Thanks, Rebecca. Anne says both Dylan.